Up next, where Hawaii ranks on the list of states with the dirtiest beach water. And a massive mural with a message, where it is and what the artist hoped to accomplish. It's one of the largest aerosol paint murals in Hawaii. As Ron Mizutani reports, this one carries a powerful message that's being shared across the globe. Up Periscope. For the past three weeks, mural artists Estria Miyashiro and John Hina have weathered the elements and each other <laughs> in order to share a message. Flow Makatumakai, that's powerful because you would think that saving water in buckets or containers would be the way to go. But really, returning the water to the streams is the way to go because it takes care of the land and the ocean. Like a harder edge. Miyashiro is an Iolani graduate who now calls California home. He and Hina have teamed with Hawaii's best artists to create a mural that's 200 feet long and 25 feet high. It just totally transforms the space. And then when you transform the space, then you transform the lives around it, you know. It's all part of a project called Water Rights, a series of 10 murals in 10 cities dedicated to water and the life it provides. We hope to draw more attention everywhere we go with this project. It started in Los Angeles, then moved to Oakland before coming here. Next week, they'll start projects in Palestine and the Philippines, followed by El Salvador, Haiti, Colombia, Arizona, and California once again. But this effort was different. It's like painting your own mom. You don't want to get it wrong. Eh? The artists were home. And the centerpiece is Hawaii's last reigning monarch, Queen Lilu'u o Kalani. Especially our queen. There's no compromising the queen. Tell you what, though, I never cried so much in one week. Yeah, we were driving by and we saw this thing and we said, God, we got to come around. It's very impressive and very beautiful and it's a, I think, an easy message everybody can get. In the midst of their painting, they point to a butterfly that visits them every day. The queen loved butterflies, even turning one of her brooches into a hairpiece. That hairpiece is part of their mural. She's looking over us, man, and that's, it's not coincidence. At the end of the day, we hope that we make our kupunas proud of what we're doing. They give us the approval that, oh, good job. The project will officially be unveiled on July 7th. Ron Mizutani, KHON2 News, Hawaii's news leader.